Ah, the Nintendo 64. A console loved by many gamers, including myself. It's a console that defined many Nintendo titles as we know today. Zelda, Mario, Smash Bros, Donkey Kong, F-Zero, Star Fox. Some games released today still can't reach the same standards as the 64 era. But as we all know, the 64 has one major flaw, and it's the analog sticks. Probably every single 64 controller that has been used is basically unplayable today. Here I have these two controllers and the sticks are completely grinded to nothing. You can't play anything with those and I wanted to restore them, so I looked at the options. As I mentioned before here in the channel, we have the steel sticks, but there are two problems. They haven't posted anything since 2019 and the cost is extremely high. The other option is the GameCube style, but those are also bad, they lack the precision of the original sticks and the games will feel totally different if you're playing with one of those. And lastly, we have the replacement parts for the bowl, stick and gears. Those will restore your original controller to perfection again, but they will grind away like the original parts and you'll have to replace them sometime in the future. So I was browsing the internet and I got an idea. You may have seen those resin cast buttons for our controller mods, right? But what if we tried casting the stick mechanism for the 64? I rushed and contacted my friend Fernanda, who knows how to work with resin. We talked about it and she liked the idea. Then I bought a set of replacement bowls, gears and sticks and sent it to her. She tried making her own mode for it. But the pieces didn't come out well. It's because the bowl and gears have too much detail and the resin couldn't feel it completely. Turns out that we will need a vacuum machine to suck out all the air from the mold to have a perfect piece. So I went online to look at a vacuum machine and yeah, it was too expensive. The project will need to stop as it will be impossible to get a vacuum machine for cheap. And I wouldn't try in doing some risky ideas with a pressure cooker. But I still wanted to try this, so I reached out to another company and ordered a better mold for trying to cast the resin one last time. This time the resin came out better, but with many bad spots. Regardless of that, I went ahead and moved on with the idea. I opened the sticks, cleaned them, and you can see how bad the parts are. The original bowl has grinded to an oval shape compared with the new one. And the stick was fine, except for the base. The part that touches the bowl has been completely grinded too. Same goes for the gears. Here's the resin cast piece. The slots for the gears are alright, but the hole that holds the encoding wheels is a little bit too tight. There are also some bumps in the edges too. But the most important part, the center of the bowl, is very smooth and I think we can work with it. I selected the best bowl from the ones I had. The gears sadly were unusable. They had too many bumps and irregularities on the surface and the gears were not good at all. And the sticks were in the midterm. They were looking good outside, but the internal part had some errors too. I think it was worth a try using these, so I kept one. The original encoder wheels were perfect, so there's no need to replace them. I had to start by drilling the hole with a screwdriver, as the encoder wheels wouldn't fit normally. The encoder wheels would fit now but they wouldn't move. So I had to remove them again and try to drill a little bit more. Now it fits and moves. I did the same to the second wheel and tried to fit it in the stick box. But here we have another problem. The original part fits perfectly in the stick box. 
but the resin piece didn't fit well because of all of the bumps and errors. So I had to disassemble everything again and sand the edges. After a lot of sanding, it finally fit in box. Put back the encoder wheels, gears and tested it out. The wheels were moving, a little tight but I'm sure it would get looser with some time. I added the resin stick and closed the box, and it wasn't so good. It was getting stuck to the left and right, but up and down was perfectly fine. And that must be because of the errors in the base of the stick. I decided to change it back to the replacement stick and now it was working perfectly. And one last step to improve the durability, I added a bunch of grease to the bowl, gears, and the stick. The grease will help reduce the friction and make the movement smoother. And indeed it was much better after adding the grease. I closed everything up and here's the final result. The stick is slightly loose in the center, but that won't be a problem. And it's time to test it. Let's see how well it performs. And the stick looks great. The small movements is picked up and I can run in all directions with no problems. You can feel a small amount of resistance as you move the stick, but I played for a couple of hours and as the grease spread it inside the mechanism, you could feel that the stick was getting smoother. Now I can finally start practicing to become a Mario 64 speedrunner. And there you have it, another fix for the dreaded 64 sticks. The goal of this project was to have an easy replacement solution that you could do at your own home without the need to order parts online. And though this isn't perfect, literally anyone can do this inside their own house. All you will need is to get a good mold first, with the bowl being the most important part. Even the steel sticks have only the bowl made of metal and the surrounding part is entirely made of plastic. Sure, the bowl will grind too, just like the plastic piece, but you can easily cast another resin bowl anytime you feel like it needs to be replaced. 
and by adding grease, the mechanism will last even longer. And that's it for this video. If you liked my content, help me out by subscribing to the channel, sharing this video with your friends, and leaving a comment or a like. Stay tuned and I'll see you next time.